Ahead of National Police Week, a group of local police officers are once again raising awareness. And since 2001, this group has made the 400 plus mile trek from Woonsocket to Washington, D.C. in honor of fallen police officers and the sacrifices they made. Iowa News News reporter Rosie Woods has more details on the annual walk from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom in Woonsocket. Families, friends, and other community members, they all gathered here today for the annual Cops Walk event. 13 Woonsocket police officers are packed up and ready to go, walking 450 miles from Rhode Island to Washington, D.C. this week. Uh, you run four miles at a time, so uh, everybody runs four miles around, around the clock. You rotate out. Each of us will run about 32 miles in a four-day period until we get down there. Cops walk and effort started in 2001 supports the families of law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. Well, Concerns of Police Survivors is the charity that we donate to and uh, the charity exists to support families of law enforcement officers that have been killed in the line of duty. Since 2001, the Moonsocket Police have raised over $140,000 for the concerns of police survivors nationwide. But now the local team is focused on raising money for the New England chapter. Home is where the heart is. Robert Shaw, the father of a fallen Providence police officer, has been involved with this group since his son was killed in 1994. He tells me the New England chapter of COPS has made his loss a little bit more bearable. To get into our club, you would have to lose a member of your family. It's a price that you don't ever want to pay. The 13 officers announced today that they have raised $26,000 this year. That's the most they've ever raised in one year. In Woonsocket with the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.